Oh no, whatever shall I do? Oh no. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely will surely perish. Oh heavens, have mercy! The horrible color tile up maze. Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile has sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry, because if you don't get there in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ha 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 ha! My poor love, I'm so filled with grief and I can't stop laughing. I don't know about you, but I feel I'm filled with determination. Uh, anyway, this is the puzzle from rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms, and rooms ago. Uh, you guys remember it? Um, you know the one. Uh, uh, yeah, don't even worry about completing it because you are not going to. So I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I actually made it though. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Anyway, um, the reason that Metaton knows that you've done this puzzle before is because uh, if you paid attention to the machine back in Snowden uh, when Papyrus did the, uh, was going to make the puzzle, that was actually Metaton, just like, turned off. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> Bite a cough. Watch out, I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! <laughs> the firewall. <laughs> oh no, how could, this have, how could this happen? Fooled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphas! <laughs> That, th that's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphas, darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you'll have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster... Is me! Oh, my voice. And Metaton attacks. Again. Same song, Metal Crusher. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, check him out. Still wearing a submit for attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one li uh, one last thing that I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Uh, uh, yellow. Press the yellow button. It's resonating with medicine. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Oh snap! Now press E. So you spam Z. Uh, this is awesome. I love how this works. A yellow heart. You've defeated me. How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, ring. Uh, looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say all thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs over your phone. I love to encourage alphas. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everything down, the, uh, everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. All right. Uh, I don't know if it's actually possible to beat this puzzle. Uh, you know, in the time that you have. Hey, it's the nice cream dude! I thought for sure if I went to Hotland, I'd sell some nice creams, but nobody wants them. Everyone's just eating Starfades and Glam Burgers. So, I'm having a going out of business sale. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. And only 12 gold. Uh, no thanks. Well then, tell your friends. Life is suffering. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Um, anyway, hey Sans. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Right? 
talk to you in a bit, Sans. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Um, let's go ahead and check what they have. Alright, so here you can um, buy a bunch of stuff, which is awesome. I'm gonna buy the mystery key. Braddy, we're gonna be rich! Um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend buying that if I were you. Oh, well, you know, if you want to uh, check, you know, check out some stuff. Ah, uh, okay, so the empty gun I'm not a fan of. I couldn't be bothered doing, uh, buying that. Uh, because it is such a bad weapon. But anyway, uh, I will buy the cowboy hat. You have too many items. Oh, okay, let's sell you. Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 10,000 gold if you get <laughs> if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. I've never seen that dialogue before. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, put something away, like the nice cream. Uh, now let's buy the cowboy hat. Alright, now we're all out of stuff. Let's go equip that cowboy hat. Uh, let's check it out. This battle worn hat makes you want to grow a beard. It also raises attack by five. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh, wait, it raises attack. That's awesome. Um, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna equip that. Didn't I just say that? Anyway. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and talk to Braddy and Caddy over here. It's like, what's up? How about you two? I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what sound effects that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But you was. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like this is stuff we found like totally wicked cheap um the stuff we found like is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. <laughs> uh, origin of Wes. I mean, like, why does anyone get guns or food or we found it in the garbage. <laughs> it's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Origin of garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store? Duh. <laughs> Look at a ton. <laughs> Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. <laughs> oh, Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, my robot husband. Actually, he's like, my robot husband. I think we're like, both going to marry him. Uh, we're both like, already married to him. He's just, like, he doesn't know it yet. Uh, origin of Metaton. So, like, Dr. Alpha's bu uh, built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And he and even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was his old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy. Best friends forever! <laughs> old. Oh my god, Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys! She used to live in our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was all, all she was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always been, like, thought Asgore is such is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Uh, Asgore. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. Oh, I forgot to read Caddy's. God, we're like... So hyped for the destruction of humanity. <laughs> Crap. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna exit that. Like, see you later and stuff. Later and stuff. Alright. Uh, anyway. What do you say we talk to Sans? Hey! I heard you going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. <laughs> Now, this song. This song, I love this song so much. It's called, uh, It's Raining Somewhere Else. The, like, it was raining one day, put the song on, just looked out the window. Man. It is such a good song, I love it.
Anyway, well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. It's what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. It's not a century in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Uh, no! Stop yawning during recording sessions. Anyway. Unfortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Uh, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke! Ah, oh, sense! <laughs> and then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming. She keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock! I say who's there. Old lady. I'm, I'm mixing up voices with this old lady. Old lady who? Um, what's the voice? Oh, I did not you I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other knock uh, jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The pirate gets kinda cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> but she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them, and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who's a sin someone who's a sin a sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? That scared me so much the first time. You'd be dead where you stand. Anyway, whenever Sans does that, I always like to be quiet. You know, let the mood kick in. Anyway. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills. Yeah, if you haven't died a single time- I actually didn't die my first- uh, up to this point, I hadn't died a single time. Um, on my first playthrough. I was like, jeez, how did you know that? But if you have died, he says, wait, am I wrong about something? Anyway, um... I love Sans. I love the scene. Heh. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Alright. And he goes that way, but it's a wall. Anyway, how are you? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reserva uh, reservation. <laughs> reservation, there you go. Uh, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. It's a potted plant. Uh, the song's still playing. I love the song so much. Uh, you can talk to all these guys if you want, um, but I'm not going to. Uh, yes, you can talk to that guy. Man, I love the song so much. The, rac the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel fills you with determination. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment builded, uh, builded, uh, turn hotel, whatever, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, talk to those guys if you want. This guy looks like someone from straight out of Homestuck. Uh, with the face, anyway. Uh, you can knock on these doors and, uh, get stuff. Seems busy. 
you can knock on these doors, and if you have the right items, you can uh, get stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, just before I end this recording session, I'm gonna go in here. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium. Uh, Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, TM. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot buy any of this stuff. Like literally, <laughs> don't ask, please. Uh, anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Um, let's just go ahead and buy a stuff. I, I don't have room. <laughs> this guy, this guy is so good. Have a sparkular day! Okay, uh, I'm gonna put stuff in the box. I'll put away the mystery key for now. Uh, hopefully I don't forget to go back into the place with the mystery key. Anyway, um... Let's go ahead and buy the staff aid. It only heals uh, 14 HP, but I'm just buying that because I want to talk to this guy. What? Why do you want to keep? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? Um, I love this guy just because of his um, facial expressions. So I wanted to be an actor. Uh, anyway, take from me, little buddy. Uh, <laughs> man, I love this guy so much. He's such a meme face. <laughs> I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 90 years I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interactive uh, and never interact with attractive people unless you're one of them. They're just going to take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers and I, naive t uh, teenager I w that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. <laughs> so I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what had happened next. Then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. <laughs> His face! Everybody calls me burger pants now. Aww. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, That's not how they do it on the surface! Oh right! Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sec- sec- Never heard of that word. Seconds? Sequins? And glue? You know what? No. I'm gonna search this up right now. Right now. Right now. I'm searching this up. Oops. Okay. I'm searching this up. Right now. I'm prob- I'm such an idiot because I don't know what this means. Uh, it could be some American thing that I don't know. Alright. Uh, small shiny discs sewn t onto clothing for decoration. Oh, okay, those things, right. I'm not a fashion dude, so of course I'm not gonna ignore. Why else is medicine bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking uh, rectangle! You know, one time, I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. <laughs> Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes! I'll probably be trapped in this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going! If Asgore just gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to the surface. It'll be a brand new world, so there's gotta be a second chance out there for me! For everyone! So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Ah, uh, I love burger pants. Anytime, little buddy. He is such an awesome character. Here we are, yada yada yada. Okay, so I'm actually going to end it here, guys. Um, I think we've gone uh, far enough. We're still technically in Hotland. So I really haven't gotten to a new area yet. Um, but I will continue this next recording session. So, um, I will see you guys then. Alright.